<laughs> okay guys, I have adjusted the lights a little bit. Now it's here instead of there. So let's see. Let's continue. I wanna try the same thing. Hmm. Okay. You might kill one not So I I think what I want to try is try the exact same thing. The With the only difference being that she goes first or something. Don't let Just checking on you. It's been so long since anyone's come down here. I I was starting to think they'd forgotten about me. I wonder if changing this answer when you come down changes anything. Probably not though. You walk down she's I am begging you to Hi. Okay. Of course I'm locked up down here for a reason. I don't actually know what that reason is, but you don't just stuff a princess in a basement and throw away the key without there being some sort of an explanation, right? You have all the explanation you need. Oh. She pauses, carefully formulating her- You can address me as your royal highness. Or you can just call me princess if your royal highness is too formal. Is princess her name or her title? What if it's both? I don't see what that has to do with anything. It's a good question. Time this is ever going to happen, but I agree with the princess. That's okay, but actually, what has she been eating? She has to eat, right? Yeah. If she's a living creature, she does have to eat. Like I said, you can call me princess if you'd like. It's not her name, she just wants us to call her that. I'm sorry, I have been down here so long, I guess I've just forgotten. I must have a name though. Everyone has a name. Okay. She hadn't even thought to pick a name for herself. Hopefully you're starting to see The princess hesitates. She doesn't know. She's been down here too long to have any idea of what she'd do in another life. She knows what she'd do. She's just- Are you looking for the truth or are you looking for the right answer? Because with the dynamic we have going on here, I don't think the specifics of what I do really matter. It's not like you'd believe me. No, we would believe you. It, is that why they threw me down here? But I don't want to hurt anyone. I, I like the world, I think. I don't remember much about it, to be honest. That's... How long did they tell you how I'm supposed to end the world? Sooner or later, you'll learn to trust me. Hopefully. Thank you for believing me. Now, can you help me get out of here? Sure we can, of course, because we are the heroic hero that we are. I still have a few more questions. Let's see. Walk up to the chains, but they're large and heavy. I'm guessing you don't have the key. Maybe it's doubtful. Okay. You attempt to make someone else. Okay, does it work? You make these easier for everyone. I heard the door slam. There's a slight pack. If I could just get out of these chains. She barely has as she rips her flesh from it's the blade. Or you won't like what. Like, yeah, and we only have an ocean now. Come on. Without hesitation, bring the blade down and plunge it into the princess's back. The wound drives her to the ground. Okay. There's no going back now. I'm with you to the. You, you bastard! Were you lying to me this whole time? I was not. I didn't know. I didn't have the option. The princess pushes away from you. The motion ripping the blade, wounded but still alive. She crouches on all fours in the corner of the room. You've made a terrible enemy, and there's nothing in the world that can possibly save you from me. I thought we had the upper hand, but it's an act. She's wounded and un I'm not. Don't waver. Now, as you ready your blade, your knife cuts into her again and again. Forget about trying to rescue her. Though your nerves are seizing with pain, you know you've done your fair share of damage as well. You seize a moment of hesitation to throw her off of you. We can still turn this around. Give up? There's no other option? Are you serious? 
as what's left of your blood pulled the princess. Wounded but still alive, nervous, her shining eyes watch you from the darkness, unblinking and curious as you bleed out. We can only hope the wounds you managed to inflict will be enough to at least delay her escape from this place. After all this time alone, I thought I'd finally found a friend, but you were just another monster. No, I am a friend. I just didn't have the option. The monster is the narrator who's who's making us this do these the end. things. Isn't before you can answer, everything goes dark. Mm, the beast. You're on a path. You're here again. People don't die twice. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep. If he doesn't remember what happened. Then something else must have trapped us here. You're not trapped here. Nobody's forcing you to do anything. Though the only sensible thing for you to do right now is Mark. Those are two very. Let's. You died. We did our. And yet you still died, didn't you? And I believe your other question was something along the lines of, "What do you mean?" Yes, but in this pure. If it's the last, do you think that all the more reason to keep our wits about us? Should we even return to the cabin? We could find a safe. You have to go. Sakura's princess. You have already committed to my completion. Ah. So there's not infinite amount of endings, which is nice because there would be there would be so many combinations if this message right here wasn't stopping like eighty percent of them. Oh, she will lie. Does a cat lie to a cornered mouse when it plays with its freedom? I don't see why that matters. A lie's a lie, and if anything, she's the one who's cornered. She could have gotten out of there whenever she wanted to. We should trust nothing that she tells us. That's a very roundabout way of saying that you should just maybe. The interior of the cabin is ruinous and dilapidated. It feels like no one has lived here for a long time. Wind rushing in through cracks and holes in the wooden walls. The blade is... No blade. No steel claw. Do you think we can talk our way out of this? I guess we'll just have to trust that we made the right call. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing what's left of an old wooden staircase. The air seeping up from below is oddly warm and wet, as if your descent she growled. I can smell you. I can smell you at home. She sounds almost impatient. You carefully make your way down the stairs. The last step gives way to She's the not there. Earth floor of a starlit pit. The walls are obscured by an impenetrable. Oh, darkness, is is that her tail? The illusion that the room might stretch on forever. You brush against the wide leaves of plants that surround you on all sides, seemingly the only living things that occupy this strange underground. So now she's a strange fear cat. The jungle is pressing in on us, hiding her from view. A lion. She could be anywhere. You see only a flash of the princess before she scurries away into the underbrush, dragging her heavy chain behind her. Remember, she's just a princess. She's not just a princess. Stop saying that. All right. Sure, sure. She's certainly not just a princess. Yeah, I'll finally a voice of reason in this madness. You're not helping. It doesn't matter what she is. It only matters. Her shining eyes appear between the leaves, staring hungrily at you from the darkness. I can hear your heart pounding from the bottom of the stairs, fledgling. You're right to be terrified. I'm so much more than you. A shiver rushes up your spine and pulls you upright. The air's shifting. She's getting ready to pounce. Move, now. There's a shift in the humid air, and something enormous princess, lunges from the shadows, her maw unhinged and dripping, her eyes fierce and full of hunger. She is too quick to outrun, too nimble to outmaneuver, too determined to overpower. This is her domain. You are devoured. We turn her into a monster. I guess that's it then. Unfortunately for you, no. This isn't it. You are in a dark and caustic place. A thick, fibrous lining constricts around you, its slick surface impossible to grip. She ate your hands us. hands scrabbling uselessly at your surroundings as they compress in on you. Your lungs can barely expand in such a tiny space. Not that the humid 
finite air grants you more than a few shallow breaths at a time. This she comes to us. Are we inside the princess now? You spoke when you needed to act. The liquid pooling beneath you starts to seep into your skin. You itch, then sting, then burn. When I killed you, I tried to leave this place, but it wouldn't let me. You belong down there, it screamed at me. The world is better off without you in it. The flesh around you rumbles as the princess begins to move, her thundering footfalls twisting you helplessly about. Your skin protests as the corrosive liquid sloshes around you. There will be no respite for you in sight. The burning grows stronger, and you can feel layers of you being peeled away. But you, you don't belong down here. You came from somewhere else. You came from out there. So I consumed your dead heart, and I carried it in my throat, and I draped what was left of you on my back, and I threw myself against that door. She stops, her muscles tensing around you, and through the muffling layers of her flesh, you hear the whine of straining metal. And with a pop, she lurches forward, your body lurching right along with her. Her chains. She's loose. But even then, it denied me freedom. Okay, good. You cannot fool me by draping yourself in decay. I know your true nature, and it is suffering. Gravity pulls at you as you're hefted upwards. The distant creaking of ancient wooden steps barely audible over the thudding of the princess's heart. And then it was gone. And I was here. A new enclosure. A nicer cage. But still a prison. I learn from my wounds. You're alive now. We can leave together. Does that work? Could she free herself if we're alive in here? Do you really need me to give you a definitive answer for you to understand that the situation is grim? <laughs> Stop her. We don't have steel, but we have tooth and claw. Tear through her. Oh, wait. You can leave. Claw and bite. Like the cornered animal you are, you tear against the thick membranes of her stomach with every part of you that can be made sharp. Nails, claws, teeth, hands, feet. I can feel you tearing through me, but are you swift enough for it to matter? Your body is violently jostled, the disruption causing burning skin to slop from raw muscle, and you hear what you can only assume is the princess pulling against the door to the cabin. The cage is still locked. I understand it, and it understands me. Talking is for those who don't know how to listen. Your body is violently jostled, the disruption causing burning skin to slop from raw muscle, and you hear what you can only assume is the princess pulling against the door to the cabin. The cage is still locked. Come on, bite. Again you tear, heart pumping with adrenaline, your ulcerating hands a blur of feverish motion fueled by the liquid pulling his hands to bang in as the princess desperately throws everything at the cabin door. Your flesh screams this is the most gruesome option yet. Your body is hit with fresh waves of blistering acid. You can't hold me forever. I don't want to, quite frankly. Your energy is fading. You can hear her heart thumping somewhere close. There's so little of you left. Your fingers reduced to bone, your nerves bare and screaming, the acid pooling around you now a soup of your skin and meat. You are a spark of will driving a melted corpse. You are a spark of will driving a melted corpse. How nice. But will can never truly exceed the limits of the flesh. Your vision finally begins to blur, your eye, what little air remains in this rancid stew of flesh and slippery organs, is finally too foul to breathe, and your lungs mercifully... Ah, uh, she ate us. We are a path in the woods. Oh, wow. We have no beginning, and we have no end. Something cold and unnatural sits watching us from just beyond our edge. His gaze pushes against our borders, curling them in on themselves. 
preventing them from stretching to the places they need to reach. No, 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 that's all wrong. You're not a path in the woods, you're on a path in the woods. That's not... that's not the princess, is it? Oh no. How many times have you been here? I think this is our third? That's bad. That's very, very bad. It wasn't even supposed to reach two. If you're at three, well... No wonder things aren't the way they're supposed to be. Ah, oh, yeah. And we got three quite a lot of times, didn't we? Let's get our facts straight. What happened last time? What could you have possibly done for things to be like this? The thing that sits beyond our edge speaks his logic into us. He tries to grasp at things that cannot be grasped. He tries to stare with wide pupils at that which can only be held. E guys, I don't oh, like this so much. The rest of you talk. What happened? What did you do? We messed up the time space continuum. That's clearly what happened, right? Can she hear us if we talk? I can hear everything, little one. But you don't have to be afraid of me. There's no That's just because she devoured us and we dissolved away. We don't even exist as a body. Yeah, that's kind of happened. We're still here, though. And if we're safe, isn't that better? She ate you. And now you're convinced that you're stuck together. What a mess. He doesn't understand. We aren't convinced of anything. And we aren't stuck together. I guess that's it then. Do you still watching us? What is he? Watching you. I'm that's not an answer to our. I don't know what he is. I only know that he is something other, and that he wishes for you and I. To yeah, us. this is true. The narrator always tries to make us into enemies with the princess, one way or another. But at the end, we always see that the princess, right? The princess is essentially just uh, her and I in a different body. And, and that is clearly reflected on our actions. There's a sound there. So whatever we do, she acts the same way. So we are the same being, right? I do want that. Only because it's in your best interest. It's in everyone's best interest. Yeah. You won't be able to slay her unless you remove yourself from her. I don't want to slay her. That's what you don't understand. He wants us to kill each other. He does. I don't like him. I don't. I want you to kill her. She's the only one who poses a threat to the world. and She's trying to make you go along with it. You don't have to enable her. I guess my senses were correct when I first started to play the game, guys. If you remember episode 1, I said that I don't trust the narrator right off the bat. Because who's to say that he is right and everyone else is incorrect, right? <sighs> they push back. It may feel like he's everywhere. But presence isn't strength. Otherwise, he would have torn us apart by now. There must be a crack in the walls of this prison. There she's trying to use you. No, you're trying to use us. She's done. You should be able to see that. I may not have been around to witness it, but clearly you remember what happened. Find your freedom. A glimpse of something bigger. You fall inward into a network of connections too vast for your mind to occupy. Are you a path in the woods? We can change to fill them together. We don't need to be everywhere. We just need to test the boundaries. You'd do best to remember that some wounds will never heal. Some rifts can never be mended. E what is he going on about? What is this is all too much? Why can't we just let her do as she sees fit? She's the one who can handle being vast. It's not for us. It's not for me. Mm. You aren't whole. You'll never be whole again. This struggle is meaningless. We don't need to be made whole. All we need to do is find a single corner of his cage and break it. 
Yes, that's what I'm trying to do. You stretch and search and stretch and search, growing as you decay and decaying as you grow. As you strain beyond your limits, the ground around you becomes dry and unstable and crumbles into nothing beneath you. This place will fall apart before you find its end. This task, whatever it is you think you're doing, is impossible. Nothing is impossible. All he has are words, and words aren't real. We they can hold us together for a little while longer. So long as you trust me. Of course we do. I trust you. You won't find anything if I have to starve you. If I have to sacrifice my world to keep the princess at bay, I'll do it. But you do find something. It's cold and smooth and gently buckles, then cracks under the pressure of your consciousness, flattering against it. Don't move an inch. Don't grow another blade of grass or harvest the remains of another dying creature so you can expand just that much further stop all of this right now how about we don't do that I think it's too late for that mate i'm at your side shatter it and free us all shatter the cage no 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 no, no stop what can we see huh is this what he kept from us? Is this why he made us kill each other? This beautiful. We need to be there. We won't be safe until we are. We won't be whole. Where did it go? Why is everything so cold? We got a glimpse, guys, of the outside. She's gone. And is that a... This... This doesn't feel right. That thing reeks of death. I don't want to look at her. Whoa! I see a crow. There's a bird there, right? I'm quite sure that is a crow, 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 crow. I think you know what I am. What do we do? Wow. So you're the narrator. The narrator, yes. I suppose that's my job, isn't it? You needed help after all, an objective voice to guide your blade. But you were never supposed to see me. I wonder how many worlds you've damned to extinction to fall this far. I think I found this quite early on, actually. like you. I am an echo. Likely one of many. Somebody made you after all, and I am what's left of him. Not that I'm the only one who can make that claim. I'm sure you've met many others like me. So we only have a few questions left, guys. What is the princess? Did you make her too? She is the shifting mound, the ebb and flow, the capacity to change. She is transformation, or most of it. Her nature is why I had to die, for she becomes that which others perceive her to be. Exactly. But an echo can't perceive things, not in the way that people can. Yeah, we get a confirmation, guys. This is exactly what we thought. And you guys saw that too, right? I can be the only one who saw that. You guys understood exactly what I understood. The princess, as the narrator puts it, is uh, 
She is transformation, most of it. Her nature is why I had to die. She becomes that which others perceive of her. So, if we perceive her as like a nice gentle princess and the voice of the hero and the smitten grows, she really is that. But if we perceive her as like a threat, a dangerous threat which we need to slay, that's exactly what she becomes. We solved the game! I think we solved the game, that's what I think at least. And it's a great freaking game. But let's continue and find out a few more endings, yeah? So I tucked a part of myself into the folds of this construct to go. This isn't the end just yet. You can still destroy her and save everyone. You were made to do this single task, and you will still have a chance to fulfill your purpose once I'm gone. Because among other things, she is death itself. To rid the world of suffering, to save untold trillions from being lost forever to the cosmic wind. Mm, so many questions. So little time. Wow. The people out there beyond the walls of the construct. Of course not. The only way this construct could function was if nobody knew what it was doing. But the bones of the universe are old. It's on the cusp of its dying breath, and the people out there are consumed with thoughts of oblivion. When the patterns are wiped from the sand, when the board is reset, who will remember them? All I've done is give them a chance to live outside of the shadow of the end. You don't have too many questions left, guys. Which questions would you ask? I know what I would ask. If I destroy her, won't I be alone? Yes, you will. But it will all be worth it. Wow, that's the shortest reply yet. We might have wasted it. <laughs> if that's your belief, there's nothing I can say to move you. You haven't died. You cannot die. So you can't grasp the abject horror of dying. Oh. When I broke the cycle, I made sure that the tear was rough. You carry a part of what should be her, and she carries a part of what should be you. Things won't be as they are now, but they won't be nothing either. Besides, anything is better than oblivion. In the end, nobody wants to leave. We are like three more questions, I think. It was like you, you said something like that before. Has every narrator really been different? Of course. That is by both necessity and design. This construct you're in exists in many places at once. Any time you failed, any time you thought yourself dead, it would restart and shunt both your consciousness and hers into another world. But you'll be awake soon. And then it won't be able to work like that anymore. Uh-oh. So did we just break the game, technically? Yeah, we broke the game, right? What is my true identity? You're the long quiet. The god I made to rid the world of death. Ooh, so we are the long quiet. It's not a place we go to. It's us. According to this talking crowd, at least. According to this talking crowd, at least. Last question. Death of the author. Run out of questions. I rest easy. I am going to destroy her. I don't want to ha have. I don't know what's gonna happen. Is the narrator gonna like not narrate anymore? I've said my piece, 
and my time is up. It's like I said, I'm just an echo. And echoes always fade away. You know what you have to do. So we are the long quiet. We got the most important question. An endless vessel. Bring the network wild to her. The heart of things. There is no final vessel for you to bury, Tester. There is nothing for you to find. Did we complete the game? I can finally see you. And you can finally see me. Oh wow. That's a whole bunch of princesses. And they're all very naked. Yeah. I think this is the true ending, guys. This is the true ending, but is it a good ending? It's been so long, and my heart has ached for this moment. I've missed you dearly. Wow. And that was totally by accident. I was just trying to see what would happen. Every word you spoke found its way to me. I know him, and I know his construct. He was deluded by his fear of death. Pay him no mind. Names are their attempts to capture that which cannot be captured. They call me the Shifting Mound, a pale imitation of what I actually am. The princess, quote unquote princess, is the Shifting Mound, and the quote unquote us is the Long Quiet. What happens now? Wow, that's interesting. I like it. This is good. Ever the passive player, always reacting and never acting. But it's woven into your nature, isn't it? When the echo spun us from one into two, he gave you a choice and me a role to play. I am not deaf, but I contain it in my multitude. So, will you attempt to destroy me and bring about a world devoid of death and the possibility of meaning? Or, will you open the final doors to our liberation? Ooh, wow. Slay the princess? No, this is not the princess first of all, so no, thank you. I think it's time for us to leave this place. But I don't know how to leave or where to go. I told you what would happen if I've reached this point. I don't want to slay the princess. Explore. There has to be another way. This can just come down to me either destroying you or letting you out. I won't do it. If you were always going to become this, then what was the point of me doing anything? Did it even matter what roads I walked if all of them would have led to this moment? If I let you out on a terrible and for good, I can do that. Let's talk this through. I still have so many questions and need answers before I can make a choice. Don't you have a say in this? Why is this all falling on me? There's so many stories we have left unfinished. Can we really just leave? Of course I have a say in all of this. You and I share reflections of each other's burdens. Just as you and I share reflections of each other's gifts. If we didn't... The winding paths that brought us here wouldn't have been full of strife and conflict. So many stories left unfinished. Even as your eyes begin to open, you still hold on to the notions of is and is not, of beginning and end, pitch black islands in the blinding light of the infinite. There is nothing to resolve, nothing restraining us but us. Nothing restraining us, but us. Us, 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 us. There's nothing restraining us. Let's talk this through.
Yeah, this one. If you're saying that, it's because you don't yet understand. But we cannot use words alone to grasp at things that words cannot express. And you cannot rationalize with logic that which defies it. Violence and passion are dances that both of us know well. If this is what it takes to enlighten you, then so be it. I didn't choose that. A web of nerves, laying upon a web of nerves, laying upon a web of nerves. The shade of a beautiful beginning we can never return to. I didn't choose that. I just asked a question. Where did you end when I began? When you felt what it was to be me. We held on to each other and pierced the veil of truth. Will you abandon that curiosity now that we are no longer joined in physicality? To your shared humanity. As you speak about life and death. Life and death and change is a nation, but that is what I mean. This is a lot. Look beyond hearts. You act as though the world can be this way. Curiosity comes. Curiosity comes second to doing the right thing. I still want to know what's out there. I missed what it, it was like to be together. Second to do the right thing. Second to do the right thing. All things are connected through me and through you. To harm me is to harm yourself, is to harm everything. The truth of that moment remains our truth. Who's behind your back and a trick behind mine? We dance, revolving, wow. and revolving around each other. Forever stuck in place. We both move and yet we both don't. For each of us watches the other instead of ourselves. But forever is not forever. I move and you react and both of us break the other. But broken is only a moment in time. She's giving us a demonstration of to something. The change is to hold the potential to rise above. Would you limit yourself to what you are now? Or would you like to see what you might become tomorrow? The change is to hold the potential to rise above. Would you limit yourself to, to what you are now? Or would you like to see what you might become tomorrow? Hmm. Address this vessel state directly. If there are no endings, there are no limits. If there are no limits, then there is no difference between growth and decay. How do you come so far? What is the the time we could have been better. Meaning lies in experience, and experience lies in contrast. Abandoning one's search is not the same as losing the capacity to discover. I am contrast itself. To reject me is to reject the shape of everything. Do not use words to reduce that which your eyes know to be irreducible. That's such a cool animation. That's such a cool art style. That's the that's the most motion I've seen so far. Yeah, so now she's like now now she's making us remember all of the endings we had so far, right? We can be everything again. We can be a beautiful and endless song. When we got mended into everything together. To be everything at once is the same to anything at all. Why would I have Ooh, there's many options now. You seemed in pain. I see what I did to you, but it was the only thing I could do. It was something you then, but I think I understand you now. You saw with a single pair of eyes, but you needed dozens to comprehend. And now here we are, each with millions of eyes, and all of them open. Your letter has a stake into your body, and another, and another, and another. Do I miss your heart because I can't stand to see it go? But the stakes meant nothing to you. You had a desire. 
and you set that desire free. You lifting me and me lifting you. Forever and ever and ever. Consumed by true belief. This is my favorite ending. The hero, the smitten, the smited. Oh, we just left, we just did, we just did what we perceived a nice innocent princess to have done to her. Which is to free her, and that's what we did, and this is this ending. You guys remember that one too, right? I trust this is a sign of great life. I won't do that feeling never left me. Then there's no need for you to fight for the Whenever you're ready, we can work together. Hand in loving hand. I am ready, I want to live with you. Start the fight early and surrender. I won't leave with you until you see things from my perspective. If you need more time to open my eyes, then I will give you all the time in the world. Oh, this one was terrifying. Oh, this one was terrifying. This was the most terrifying ending, I think. She just became a huge creature of blades. Yeah, this one. This one was one of the first endings, which I accidentally came upon. You died countless steely deaths. And you lived countless short lives, and yet it is all so far behind you. This is so cool, guys. This, this is really cool. You never would have reached without me. Such a unique way to have a game. Game is quote unquote ending, right? If we had been such a better way, we could have killed each other. We were self destructive. It's easy to believe in the things you believe in when you go and get to sit above it all. What do you think happens if we leave here? There's so many options now. You are cruelty itself and I cannot let you exist. I don't know what the answer is, but there has to be something else. It cannot be this. I won't kill you, but I won't let you free. What I offer you is not perspective. It is true. Whatever you're trying to do right now, you don't have to do it alone. Ooh, we got the voices back, guys. Schizophrenia for the win. Well, nah, he's back. And the hero is a really cool guy, I liked him. I didn't like the cheated. The cheated was a bit aggressive and he was playing with us. Mm, which hero are you? I have no idea how good this. Which hero are you? Um, all of them? I assume in the same way that you're all of you. You have no idea how good it is to hear your voice, my old friend! To here. She's too many things all at once out here. If you want to get through to her, you need some way to get through all of that divine confidence. There's still a piece of me nestled close to where it all began. I can take you there. I can take you to her heart. It's time to resume our dance. She's relentless, isn't she? Let's make this quick. 
Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Huh? What exactly did I agree to be ready for? And here we are. I'd say we were back where it all started, but I guess it's a little after that, isn't it? Do you need me to describe things? What? It's just us. I think the rest of them are still out there, jumbled up in the rest of her. Okay, guys, is there some reason why it's the voice of the hero specifically which is with me at the end? Do my choices affect that? Like, if I chose more endings with a different goal in mind, would the voice which we have made dominant then be the voice with, uh, which accompanies us now? Do you understand? Because I think I've done heroic and kind endings more than the violent ones. So, which, which, which might be why the hero voice is the one who is dominant for us. Which is why this voice is the one who is dominating for us, right? If she, if she, if the office nester could just come come to me? Yeah, of course. The interior of the cabin is, well, it's a cabin, yeah? There isn't much here, <laughs> just a table and a knife and a door. And some windows. There's no mirror, either. I think you broke it. <laughs> and I know you're still trying to find some middle ground, but if things go south, we're going to need that blade. Yeah, it's dead silent in here. Whatever it was that was left of him, I don't think it could handle you waking up to godhood. Pretty sure he got obliterated. I don't actually know how I feel about him being on. Yeah. Yeah, it's complicated. He put us through hell, but he's been part of us since the very beginning, hasn't he? Yeah, right. I don't want to take the blade. No blade it is. I'm not sure what we'll be able to do without it, but your judgment has gotten us this far. No blade. The stairs. Do you remember the first time we were here? The first time we heard her voice? Yeah, I said, uh, that doesn't sound like a princess, that's a bit older. Have you figured out what you want to do yet, or are you going to keep trying to find a center that doesn't exist? It sounded just like that. A little sharp, a little menacing. Only she didn't know us. Yeah, something like that. Wow, so the game remembers. That's really cool. And down we go. We shouldn't keep her waiting. And there you are. Hands empty. So you don't feel like recreating our first meeting detail for detail. I wonder what else will be different. <laughs> That's so cool, the game remembers, yeah, the first time I, I took the blade, I took the blade the first time. That's so cool, wow, this game is so complicated. So many options. Maybe there's still room for us to chat before the final curtain call. What do you say? Sit with her. Right back at you. In a way, it hasn't been much time at all, but it feels like it's been forever since I've seen you. Thanks for coming back. That's nice. <laughs> the first time we met, I cut your throat open. Yeah, I remember. Sure, you also killed me, but hey, that just makes us even. You know, when she puts it like that... I'm the same princess that's been with you since the beginning. And I feel real. But I also feel like I'm a lot more than I was then. We've been through a lot together. I don't think there's anything more real than that. I don't know. I'm a part of her, I think. But she's seen so much more than we have. Like she's seen everything, right? I don't think I could hold all of that without losing myself. I don't think you could either. I don't think I want to be a god. Does it matter what we call ourselves? It's just another label. And I don't think labels have ever helped us. All they do is cram us into boxes where we don't fit. Just like this cabin. Uh, yeah. Just like the cabin. Just like the cabin. 
What if we just leave? What do you think of her? What she wanted us to be? I don't think she's the sort of thing you can really disagree with. It doesn't <laughs> matter if she's right or wrong because she exists. She's this big, unrelenting force, and there's no arguing with her. But I guess that was the question out there, wasn't it? And it was the question before you came down here, too. Should she get to exist? I'm glad you didn't bring that knife with you. Yeah, so am I. And like I said earlier, I don't really want to be her. I think I just want to be me. Yeah, I'm happy not to be everything. Just being us is plenty. You got that for right, sir. That's already a huge burden. So now that we are here at the end of everything, can you finally tell me your name? <laughs> I never had one. And do not call me the Shifting Mound. It's too much. But I've always been a princess to you, right? So why don't we stick with that? And as for you, well, Hero works for me. Yeah, so that's the voice we have, which we have kept dominating. So that's what she calls us, right? But that's me. You know, I think I like that. None of this was really fair for either of us. For either of us, was it? No, it really wasn't. But just because it hasn't been fair doesn't mean that it hasn't been worth it. I'm really glad I got to know you. That's really nice. But what if you just leave? Do you know where this cabin is? Because I don't. I don't even know what's supposed to be outside other than us. What would even happen if we leave? What would that even mean? So what matters is that we live together. I don't know where this is from day to day. We can never think out there, but we don't know this side. We don't know this, this, this. We don't know this. I want to know this. I don't know, but I've always wanted to live with you. I just didn't like being gone. I want to walk through that cabin door as we are. Just you and me. For words. Okay then, let's leave. I think I'm gonna stay right here. Whatever you're doing right now, wherever you're going, it feels like it's for just the two of you. Are you sure you don't wanna come? Yeah, it wouldn't feel right. I don't think I'll be alone for long either. I'm sure I can find the others. Hands clasped together, you and the princess leave the basement for the last time. And electricity. This is it. I have no idea what it's going to be like out there. Not that I'm scared or anything. It's exciting, really. Anything could happen. And if it's bad, then it won't be bad. Not with you. Who is going to... I love you. Who is going to open it? Are you ready? Neither of us knows what it's going to be like out there. It's something new. But whatever it is... We'll face it, together. And what happens next? Whatever it is, you will face it together. Guys, I think we beat the, beat the game. By accident. There was still so much there to talk with that huge entity. The main princess, right? Before. And then we came here and... Boom. <laughs>